Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Raphael Duke Page Guide channel. It is I, Raphael Duke, with a little bit of a different look compared to yesterday. Um, coming to you guys with my review of the Royal Rumble 2021. It just ended. Let's get down through the matches. Uh, so on the kickoff, we had Shayna Baszler and Nia Jax defeating Charlotte and Asuka to become the new two-time women's tag team champions. I caught like towards the ending of the match with the whole like Lacey Evans, Ric Flair thing, which I really don't care for. Like again, I like Charlotte's like, oh, I'm gonna come back if there's something that really interests me, and then she comes back into a storyline where her father is supposedly fucking Lacey Evans, or it's implied they are in love. Anyways, uh, moving on, the show starts. First match of the show, Goldberg takes on Drew McIntyre for the WWE title. Drew McIntyre retains. And what was a predictably short match. Before the match even started, they brawled. Drew got speared for the barricade. Drew got back in. Hit a Claymore. Pins. Um, Goldberg kicks out. Goldberg hits a spear and a jackhammer. Drew kicks out. Drew hits another Claymore. And that is that. And then they do the whole... Goldberg respects Drew McIntyre now. This was a battle of respect. And look, this was just... Let's bring Goldberg back to get the views. It might have helped. I don't know for fucking pay-per-views anymore. And yeah, that was that. So now Drew moves on. And hopefully we'll know who he will be looking at across the ring at WrestleMania. We then followed that up with the women's royal... Uh, no... The, uh, now the women's rumble Sasha versus Carmella the Smackdown women's title match the match was good it was a you know a good passable match nothing bad nothing really boring but I enjoyed their match more that they had at um, TLC the month before Carmella you know she's improving it kind of maybe feels like their new gimmick now can be a little bit more feels maybe a bit more wasted considering she's taken out two losses to to Sasha um, don't know what's going to be next for Sasha I feel like probably the winner of the Women's Rumble is going to be next for her or we could see a swerve for that one but we will find out we didn't follow that up by of course the said Women's Rumble Bailey and Naomi kicked us off on number 1 and 2 Bailey, who is my pick got eliminated by Bianca Belair which I was a little bit disappointed because I thought Bailey could have easily won that and also considering that Bailey lost to Bianca on Friday, this can't help but feel like a moment where Bailey was just used to put Bianca over. Maybe it's just me being a Bailey fan, just a little bit, uh, you know, salty or whatever. But it is what it is, I guess. Um, you know, Bianca Belair wins by last name Rhea Ripley. I think this could be maybe considered Rhea Ripley's main roster debut, considering that um, you know she was she made a big. Her uh, spot in this reminded me a lot of Bianca, where she was like a surprise entrant, uh, limited a lot of people, and that they were putting over as a great performance. She was one of the last ones standing. Um, I think this could be a uh, main roster debut for her. We'll have to see on either Monday or Friday what's next for her. I could see her on Raw, and I could see her maybe challenging Asuka. I know I've heard rumors of people saying that they're going to do Asuka versus Charlotte, which... You know, they had a great first match, but is it really a match I have to see again? Not really. So, but we'll see what the future holds for that. As for Bianca winning, that was, you know, good for her. It kind of shows that WWE has trust and has this drive to push her. Um, you know, is she going to be like another, like, Asuka wins the Rumble, gets like this big momentum and then loses to like the established champion like either Sasha or an Asuka at Wrestlemania we'll have to to wait and see uh, as as other notables Jillian Hall returned in that one uh, Victoria returned Tori Wilson returned uh, Naomi Tankley also returned um, no Becky no Ronda I know Becky went on social media and she posted a picture of like the curtain between, I believe it's supposed to be, I think, Backstage and Gorilla. And then she posted that, like, during the Women's Rumble. And people were like, oh, my God, she's coming back. And then she said, oh, I'm sorry. I just thought this was a nice picture of a curtain. So I think she was backstage. Maybe she discussed, you know, if she's ready to come back or not. And I have a feeling that if she was there, maybe Ronda was also there in, 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 a, in a way to see if Vince's plan for that match could happen. 
um, we'll have to wait and see with the future. Uh, moving on to the la to the last man standing match, Roman Reigns retains and is the last man standing. It was a really good match, a really brutal match. Roman and Kevin had really good chemistry, even when it was like opposite. When Kevin was the heel and Roman was the babyface, they still had good matches. I I think their match in 2017 at the Rumble in San Antonio was better, which was like a no holds barred Jericho in a shark cage match. But I personally feel uh, TLC was the better match. I think tonight kind of lacked the moments where it really felt like Kevin could end up winning it. Um, also, like Roman running over Kevin Owens in that fucking golf cart was sudden out of nowhere. So, yeah, I mean. I think, you know, maybe I, I personally feel like the winner of the of the men's rumble, which I'm going to get to, could end up challenging Roman. Uh, but if it's not, I really don't know who could be next. I know there's rumors that Cena could be competing there, I don't, although I doubt they'll do Cena versus Roman again. But it's really a question of just waiting and seeing, I guess. We then move on to, of course, the main event, the men's world rumble match. Edge and Randy Orton turned off uh, uh, at one and two. They still got into a brawl, a big fight. Uh, Orton got injured. He got hit like with a chair on like the leg, and they were selling it. Um, then the match goes on. We had uh, some returns. The Hurricane came back, uh, but of course, the big one, I think, the one that everybody will be talking about, is Christian returning into a wrestling role. I know Christian technically returned to a match. Uh, when he had like that street fight with Orton on the build up to the, I think was it the Drew versus Orton storyline, or if it was part of the whole greatest match ever thing that they were gonna do at Backlash between Edge and Orton, I have a really shaked head. Uh, but yeah, Christian's back. Hopefully this is a, uh, um, hopefully this continues more. Hopefully this was just a one time thing. I kind of hope Christian gets to keep going for a little more longer. And then, um, yeah, Damien Priest had his debut. Uh, Braun Strowman, again, came back. He kind of came back on Friday, but no one really cares. And Rollins also returned, which, you know, the rumors were kind of there that Rollins was going to return at um, the Royal Rumble after he was going to be there with... Um, Becky for the pregnancy of their child. He came back, and uh, it's gonna be interesting to see what he's gonna be his plans hanging into WrestleMania. So yeah, Royal Rumble tonight was a good show. The Rumble matches were good compared to the last years, like 2020, 2019. I think the crowd element was missing on this. I mean, imagine if they had an actual like real crowd with Christian coming back. The roof would have, they, they, they would have blown the roof off of whatever they were in. Like, I think they were supposed to be at Safeco Field in Seattle, now T Mobile Park. They would have blown, like, the roof out of that place if Christian had come out. Um, personally, to me, it did kind of a little bit change my enjoyment, not having the fans there. But, you know, we don't have a lot of time left without the fans. WrestleMania is going to have some people in the building at Raymond James Stadium, so. WrestleMania season has started. We are officially 69 days away from the big event in Tampa. And I can't wait to have the fans back in the building. So, thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure to like, make sure to subscribe, leave your thoughts on the Royal Rumbles. Who who had you originally thought who was won? What did you think about it? Thank you for watching. Have yourselves a very good night. Take care.